good morning. New day outside the shop. It's a beautiful day today. It's uh, nice and warm. I'm about ready to shed this coat. Got the walk out. Tyson and Dusty are here, so I'm gonna put Tyson to work with the old pressure washer. He drew the short straw. I got the cam out of it, and the cam bearings are actually in good shape. And anybody that has done cam bearings on an LS probably knows that they're not the funnest things in the world, so it's good to not have to do cam bearings on this. Hopefully we can get this all cleaned up and prepped and ready for everything to go together once the bearings and, and all those odds and ends shows up for it. Well, Dusty and Tyson have got a little project to do. They got to go pick up some uh, junk from a place that Tyson's working for. And I'm sure they're going to do this in the least efficient way possible because that's what's fun. So I'll get this all closed up while they're taking care of that little project. I'm going to go work on a motor, see if I can get this new motor for Gonzo put together. Can't blame them for wanting to take Grizz though. No, oh, it needs to be used.
Let's see. Weird. All right. Well, call us check. We're getting a call. Dusty. Well, Tyson broke it. <laughs> I guess we're gonna go do a recovery. They were nice enough to uh, send me a pin using their Onyx app. And uh, since we're talking about Onyx, it's a great app to have, because even if you're out in the middle of nowhere and don't have any cell service, you can uh, save your pin. And as soon as you get back to service, even just a little bit of uh, text type service, you can send that pin off to whoever you need to have come rescue you. Or you can save a pin for a spot you wanna go back to later. Tyson uses Onyx Hunt and has for several years. So he showed me a lot of these features. He's got all of his previous, he's got pins for the animals that he's killed to show where he got them and different uh, animal signs that he's found when he was out scouting. So those of you who are hunters, that's a great feature to have. Or for off-roaders like me, you can store your different points of interest, obstacles or whatever, and have that to refer to later. Go check out Onyx, use a Chad's Fab, get 20% off. And uh, while you're there on uh, Onyx's site, uh, go check out everything on the Onyx Challenge and make sure you vote for Paul and me as your favorites. I look for Paul and I to be uh, really getting deep into this uh, Onyx build project here real quick. We're gonna jump in Gonzo. We're gonna use the wrong strap and the wrong truck. <laughs> go get our wreckers. Gonzo the tow truck. Well, I guess we're gonna go rescue Tusty and Tyson in the wrecker with our new Gonzo the tow truck. And then we'll try it again. <laughs> we'll try it again. Well, it's your turn to drive. <laughs> <laughs> we were taking turns. Yours, yours isn't going to be fun at all. <laughs> They're bringing Gonzo to tow the back. <laughs> What happened to Chris? The belt stopped, or came off. Did you do anything to mess with that? No. I mean, Dusty was like honest. To be honest, Tyson really got on it. They didn't make it very far either. That's funny that the belt decided to part company. Well, I don't know what happened with that. I don't know. I'll have to look at that and see. The belt was a little bit on the long side. <laughs> oh yes, and our lovely, if you hurry, you'll catch that light. Hurry it. <laughs> Did you hear the 10 pounds of boost? Yep, that sounded awesome. Gonzo goes off road. Wow. <laughs> it's a bit of a rough road, guys. <laughs> it's worse every day. Tyson, the first time you drive it. I never said he should have let me drive it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm pretty Anything sure Kean put the belt on wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, I agree. <laughs> I was like, well, oh, crap. Sounded like the battery was dead. So then I went and checked and both. But then we opened it up and looked. <coughs> like yeah, I said, I mean, like it shifted on its own. So it's not like we were bouncing off rev limiters. It was just. Yeah. Just went underneath the overpass yeah. just because it sounds cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. But it must, have, it, was, it must have just killed it dead. Yeah, this probably weighs more than Gonzo, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. yeah. About double. <laughs> yeah. yeah, nearly double. Is that, that going to hurt Gons? No. What's it going to hurt? Gons? Bad motor? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have this a Jeep, is... and he's like, let's take Gonzo. Yeah. 
Well, you have a power stroke too. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we'll take the. We never said we did things right <laughs> or easy. Or easy. I mean, look at where we don't at. even do them the easy way or the right way. We just do them the way we do. Them. Yeah, <laughs> the most entertaining way. There you go. Where people will make the most fun of us. I tell you what. Oops. Go under the underpass and give it gas. Sounds amazing. <laughs> really cool. Tell it was again. <laughs> Driving my broken junk. <laughs> so Dusty, can you give us an update? <laughs> well, so. We told you Chad wasn't smart. <laughs> yeah, we tried to explain. So Gonzo's here with Chad and Stacy. They're, uh, they're pulling us back to the show. Why do you ask? Um, well, it sounds amazing. This sounds so good. <laughs> and it runs really, <laughs> really good, good until it doesn't. You know, they say something about belts and blowers and the problems. Well, we're learning it firsthand. Yeah. We, we threw a belt, locked it up. <laughs> Look at the smoke coming out of Gonzo. <laughs> Oh, by the way, Gonzo needs a new motor. Yeah. <laughs> it blows, it burns as much oil as it does gas anymore, so. That's some smoke out there. He's working. Yep. Be one last final workout for this poor old 5.3. <laughs> might need to go get the other trucks. Yeah, we might need one more truck to pull Gonzo back. I'm not sure. No, she's good to go. Oh, yeah, we'll make it. This ain't near as fun to drive without the motor. <laughs> yeah, well. It hurts in the shoulders. Now this thing is really LS powered. <laughs> <laughs> Supercharged, or turbo. Turbo, it's a turbo LS now. <laughs> oh, that smoke. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Chad's up there romping on it. <laughs> Trying to kill us with <laughs> white smoke. You gonna be okay? Oh yeah. Got good oil pressure blow by. <laughs> we got six quarts of oil, so we've only used a quart so far. So. <laughs> I wonder how many people are watching us, wondering what the heck's going on. You know what? It's kind of ironic that the tow truck's getting towed. <laughs> That's true, I didn't even think about that. That's not yeah. how this was supposed to go. No. <laughs> Often you see the, <laughs> the tow truck behind it. Yeah, it's kind of backwards. It's actually really backwards. But it's pretty priceless. Playing you can never really have anything nice with Tyson. No, not with a throttle. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. You know. I mean, really this is going to be fine. I'm not going to break anything on the way back. <laughs> <laughs> but Chad says we can put another belt on it and give it another go. Yeah, so again, no harm, no foul. Again, you guys think he's smart. Well, maybe the third time's the charm, I don't know. Yeah, oh yeah. Fun with it. 
Might as well have fun, huh? Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see Jeremy again. <laughs> I wonder if he thinks in his mind, huh, knew that was gonna happen. Oh yeah, if he sees us, oh yeah. yeah. He'll be we'll see. He'll, that's exactly I'd right. honk at him, but our stupid horn don't work. We gotta get that fixed. I thought it was all wired up. Maybe I don't think we put a horn in it. I don't think it has a horn. I think we've got a wire and we just need to put one in. Hear me? He <laughs> <laughs> starts laughing here in a second. Yeah, he knew that was going to happen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're just going to go ahead and California stop that one. <laughs> say with that and a lot to do with it what? if he does a burnout or not oh yeah if you want him to do a burnout don't we? <laughs> you get these brakes are gonna hold this up <coughs> oh yeah <laughs> put her in park and he go nowhere <laughs> she kind of smells bad oh yeah you could probably roll that window down i have it down mine is down he's rolling all the way down 79% down. Okay. I thought it was like 72%. So. <laughs> I think it's like 68%. So. Oh, okay. yeah. Big to differ. There you go. Now it's about 88%. So. Oh, but it smells worse. Dude, it is smoking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this poor motor. When we first take off, it's going to, might lose sight of. same wavelength and uh, <laughs> stupid things like that happens. <laughs> you know what's funny? Stacy's up there giggling just as much as Chad. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> she, uh, she's going to be a problem. <sighs> yeah, he put her in a vehicle with a turbo. I don't know. I yeah. feel like that could be an issue. If that's his truck and the car is hers, we might have some problems. Mm. I think the deep search. And it's got a supercharger on it too, so. Yeah, we got to put. Yeah. I don't know, she might, she might do that car thing. Oh, I'm sure, 100%. She's got a lot of memories in that bad boy. <laughs> No, no, it's not much fun at all. I'm wondering 
if Grizz is a little upset that you guys have been working on Hanzo so much. Hey, well, we were trying to take it out and have a little fun. Yeah, but you had to have, go and have an attitude. <laughs> but this showed up in the mail and it says Tyson at Chad's Fab, Cuddle Bear. So this, <laughs> this ought to cheer him up, I think. It's well earned. Let's, let's do it. it. Where's it from? It just Amazon. came from Amazon, but there's no, we didn't order this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. We need one of those for Caden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I need to say caution, do not hug. We could do caution, I am a hugger and just. Like, no, it doesn't say, I, I know where it came from. Oh, I do know. Really? Yeah. There's not a name on there. Uh, there's not a name. It's funny that he sent, they sent it here. Uh, there's a little Lauren. I am yep, straight out of Oregon, thanks big guy. That's why it says Cuddle Bear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Warren. Good job, bud. That's awesome. Hey, we got something else. Do you want to get Kenner? So oh yeah, let's Kenner get this box? too. All right, Kenner. Attention All right. Kenner. I don't know why mom opened it. Yeah, it's oh, geez, mom. When something says attention, Kenner, you just got to make sure it's all. Oh, safe. make sure it's not a bomb. <laughs> you're taking one for the team. Is that what you're saying? Mom, gotta check in on the baby. Always remember, winning isn't everything, except when it's for a good cause. Good luck, Chris P. Nice. What did Chris send you? Uh, more. I think we pop tabs. And you can <laughs> I know. Stick it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's that one. Oh. <laughs> Banquet. Banquet, baby. Good Tyson, job. did you send that to him? No. Uh -huh. <laughs> another one. Oh. My oh. God. And then there's a little stubbier one right here. Still have you counted these yet? No, I'm not going to. Count. <laughs> oh, <come laughs> I'm going to count them all. Well, thank you, Chris, for sending all those. They will definitely go to a good call. What are you working on, Dust? Uh, we're pulling out these oil plug things, clean this all out so we can start putting this together so that we don't, can, don't die when we drive behind that thing. <laughs> Get it fixed, yeah. I yeah. know, yeah. I don't feel bad. so great. Was it just these two? Uh, yeah, and then Tyson's getting the plug. Oh, of course. And then there's this little bar bag, right? Uh, orange thing. Yeah. How does that come out? It's just on the rings. I do feel oh. like I drank too much oil. Yeah. It's like that hungover smoked, kind of smoked feeling. Smoked a little too much gonzo. There you yeah. go, smoked a little too much gonzo. <laughs> Not without some. What you got? What you got? We got, we got the goods. We got some of rock bolts. Uh, Brian Tooley sent us some head gaskets. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> oh, there's our valve springs. Oh, sweet Gonzo will be able to spin 7,000 RPMs. Oh, there's our lifters. They're from Summit. I think those are actual LS7 lifters. Yeah, they got a GM part number on them. Everything, side oil. Yep, those are good lifters. Oh. If you guys sell it, you're going to lose more oil. Oh, they're going in here. Here directly. 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 We can get a burnout today in this thing. <laughs> Again. <laughs> he said it will take a whole day to swap the motor. So you gotta build it and then next. Eat a little thing. It's a long day. <laughs> well, we're still missing a couple of parts. Um, well, we're kind of missing a little bit of time too. Yeah. Not to mention, you still gotta go pick up some motors for the Grizz. Yeah. Yeah, we still gotta redeem itself on that one. That's for sure. I think that's more user error. <laughs> Look, we've already given Keenan. You already what? Yeah. We've already blamed it on Keenan. Yeah, Keenan installed the <laughs> belt wrong. We decided. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. Oh, is that how that works now? <laughs> yeah. He's not blame here. Blame him. He's not here. He's in the next state, so we would blame him. Oh, yeah. So he's, he's not even around, even close to. No. Yeah. It may have been Caden. Well, Caden's out in another state, too. Oh, so it was probably both of them working together. They probably you both. You guys are really bad about taking responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> Say what? <laughs> Response to who? Huh? <laughs> you want me to start getting blamed for stuff? <laughs> yeah, keep, keep it up. Keep it up. Yeah, I thought we were friends. 
She's a side. Kenner, you better go give him a hug. Yeah, she's a side. <laughs> what? Yeah, neither does Caden. You shouldn't say that out loud. Because Tyson just takes that as a challenge. Cuddly bear over here. <laughs> it's a pro to tighten up those bolts, huh? Oh, I kind of like it. It's kind of fun. It was like a game of where, where, what's it going to do now? Yeah, where's it going to go? Where's it going to go? It's kind of exciting. Yeah, grab a couple of inches here. <laughs> yeah, that's not even tight. <laughs> Who put that on there, Caden? Yep. Thank you, Ian. Even their dad's in on it. <laughs> this is what teamwork looks like, that's right, Caden? <laughs> <laughs> Makes the dream work. I think they got half of them tight. Arms probably got tired on one side. <laughs> yeah, they just kind of... Yeah, they got one. <laughs> yep. One out of four ain't bad. <coughs> yep. Quarter. Yep, 25%. How do you get that one off? There's a little, uh, just a thin, really thin ring. You're getting it? Oh. That's a whole bunch of rings right there, guys. That's a pile. They're all pretty worn out. Well, 300,000 and sitting out in the weather and all rusty and sticky and pretty cheap insurance. Yeah. And now that's the same one? Yeah, cheap. You know, cut off. Did you hone it and everything? Then? I did, yeah. Well, it was. The cylinders were completely rusty. There was oh, no, man. yeah, there was no shiny left in them. But that one was the worst because the piston was sitting right there. You can see the stain of where the rings were sitting. Soaked it in some penetrant and took the uh, home to it and it cleaned right out. This. Were those rings, can you tell if like any of them were bad? What do you see when they're bad? Um, usually you can tell by the discoloration on the pistons. This, they weren't leaking oil for sure because when they start using oil the whole this don't be washed with oil mm -hmm. it'll be clean um this one i think the primary ring was getting fairly wore out you can see how much was getting past the top ring mm -hmm. so i think that top ring was pretty worn out for oh, three hundred thousand, oh, it was probably just starting to get tired yeah Probably just ready for a fresh one. Yeah, but it would have had really good oil pressure the way the bearings work, because cam bearings are good, so. Probably wasn't smoking at all. No, it definitely wasn't smoking. Not a gonzo. No. Oh, oh, it is. It's going to be a gonzo. Up. It is. I didn't know we built gonzo as our tow truck. This is backwards. <laughs> we do do a lot of things backwards. Oh, we do. <laughs> We don't do Should we things. take a four-wheel drive and go pick up our wrecker that's broke down on the side of the road because we we're dumb enough to let Tyson, you know, Tyson, <laughs> us be driving? No, we'll take Gonzo. Yeah, we'll take yeah. two-wheel drive. Yep. But it doesn't didn't. even have a hitch. <laughs> well, the belt did show up though. So we'll oh, cool. get that fixed here. Momentarily. Then after lunch, you can try again. Does this one have like a cap around it? It looks like it's thicker than that one you just yeah, put on. Different. Yep, that one is a thrust bearing. So that controls how far the crankshaft moves front to back. So, so it'll have a matching uh, bearing on the cap, wherever that cap is. Uh, oh yeah. So yeah, that'll have a matching bearing too. Yeah, so it just sits there and controls kind of So it kind of locks it in place? Yeah, it keeps the crank from moving too forward, too far forward, too far back. Did you know that, Tyson? No. No, no. Me either. But I don't build motors either. No, me neither. <laughs> you do now! Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things I do now that I never did before. <laughs> <laughs> Got the new belt on there. Went with a shorter belt this time, so hopefully it'll stay Maybe it'll be uh, Tyson resistant. Well, we didn't have Ken install this one, so it's probably... Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> well, you can. I was wondering if the routing, you know, they put it on, you gotta put it. I might have to make a sticker for it, huh? Yeah. Okay, you gonna try again? Yep. Yeah, Tyson gets to drive home this time, though. You're gonna drive there? <laughs> yep. <laughs> so at least we can make it there. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> if not, Gons did good. Yeah. Yep. Gonzo's. Gonzo's kind of um, if we do call you to come get us again and you do bring Gonzo, throw a little, like, throw a quart of oil in her. Yeah, she might yeah, be a little low. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just going to drain it out of the uh, catch can. I'll put oh, it back, put in right back in. Yeah. There you yeah. go. I'm sure the catch can's about full by now. <laughs> just need to have a, especially like a, when the, a sump pump, when it gets to a certain level, just pushes it right back down. Into yeah. The, yeah, especially yeah. when the brakes accidentally stuck on on Grizz. I'm sure we used a quart there. Oh, at least. Yeah. yeah. Sticky little bugger. I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jeremy, you gotta see us. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. yeah. Not even gonna let Tyson go? Probably. <laughs> no phone calls this time. Okay. Hopefully. I can't promise anything. <laughs> Dusty and Tyson left again. So while they're doing that, I figured I would work on these rings. They make these in a motorized version. So usually I'll just clamp this in the vise and then you just spin that. With a new uh, file in this, it's about every two turns opens up the gap about two, uh, a thousandth or so. 10 turns is worth about five thousandths a ring gap. I think that's gonna be about what we need for this. I got all the rings filed. Um, I opened them up quite a bit for boost. Um, hopefully not butt rings and brake pistons. After I get them all filed, I take this and dress the edges of them. So this is the secondary ring and this is the primary ring. So those are all, those are all ready to go in. All right, well, we got these turds loaded. Got one on that side. There's not a whole lot of bed space on this bad boy.
And these are the oil rings right there. So get that thrown on. Okay, there's the oil ring all assembled, and we'll go with the secondary ring. We have a dot right there. So the dot goes up, get that, like so. And why would it matter if you did it the wrong way? You see how it's got that little chamfer in it right there on the inside? It's not very big, because these rings are pretty thin. So it just bevels in? Bevels right there, mm -hmm. sharp on the square on the bottom. But on a primary ring, that bevel faces up, so it does matter. On a secondary ring, if it had a bevel, those generally face down. But on this one, it didn't have any bevels or anything on it, so I'm surprised that it matters. But they had it's a got marked, a, so. They had a mark, so we'll put it in the way it says. I guess we might as well just go and throw these right in the trailer, huh? They stand out like that. Is that just because it's not in the piston in the slot hole yet? As you put them in the bore, it compresses these. So I have a ring compressor to put it in to put the to install the piston. So that one's got that dot right there. So that faces up. It always faces up. Mm -hmm. So those, there's that. And then I'll go ahead and put the upper rod bearing in. Oh, sounds like they're back. All right. And they're different thicknesses and all too? They're the same thicknesses, they're both. This is so one. How do you know you grab the right one again because it was stacking on that stack? Well, this one, see how it's shiny? Oh, okay. So that one's a plasma molly inlaid, so that's why it's shiny. And then this one's just a plain cast ring. Let's see, I gotta change the bolts. I did step up and buy some ARP rod bolts. It's ready to go in. So, I'm going to repeat that six more times. <laughs> in like a, a blue and green color to yeah. have under the hood or something. So. You know the gonzo suit thing. Huh? Yeah. Like on the Muppets? Muppets? Yeah. yeah. They can do those on the valve cover zone and have the hood painted your color. Yeah. Chevy. Well I even have the valve covers done at the same time or something. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Marty and Matt came in uh, to visit us today. They got a couple of pretty cool old GMCs. I love this these trucks. He's got a 62 here really nice you put in a later uh 351 v6 and then this one is a 65 and this one's marty's yes yep and it's got a the factory four wheel drive truck this is this isn't factory so the, the cadillac the, not the cadillac 500 they didn't yeah. come with these no it would have had a 305 <laughs> in it originally so but he swapped in a cadillac 500 and uh turbo 400 and then has later uh square body uh, axles in it and stuff so really a cool truck and then they brought me some trinkets too some uh, replacement moldings for gonzo and then these little moldings that go behind the door right you can see them on that truck oh yeah gonzo's missing one 
all of this stuff is super super hard to come by so hen's teeth type of stuff appreciate you guys stopping yeah. by and letting us look at this and i appreciate certainly you. appreciate this stuff i'm kind of in love with this bed idea or, or if you happen to I think we have enough Utah plates, we could just do that. Hey, and Paul, I found out exactly what you need. Yes, it's cool. No, I'm not going to paint it. Yeah, see? It can be awesome and not be painted. I like the patina, don't you? Oh, yeah, this is sick. This is sick? Yes. <laughs> which way that goes okay let me look at this for a second so whichever it's a broke it's cracked cap oh so it's only gonna go on one way oh i see flip around Okay, there I see go. what you're saying, correct. I, okay, I actually remember that. Because yep. they're one piece, right? Yep, and then, then, and then they, they crack, crack them. Around. Okay, yep. I remember now. Do you want me to torque these as we go? Probably just lightly snug Just snug them, okay. When we're done, we'll go, go through and, and torque them all and mark them. You lube the cylinder wall and the piston? Yeah, mostly the, the rings. rings, yeah. Mm. Come that way? Yep. I think one should be facing the wrong way just to... Stress everybody out? Yeah, so we have something to do. <laughs> oh. I got in on the first one. <laughs> They're one piece. Oh, so, if this I can show you. So it's been broken. Oh, oh, legit broke. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they build it because this is actually a powder metal rod. So it wasn't like a piece of steel that they forged. They take a pile of powder and the alloy that they want, and then they heat it and forge that powder to make it one piece. And then to fracture the cap, they take and laser etch that, uh -huh. and then have a I don't know exactly what the machine looks like, but then it just wax it and breaks yeah. it right at that. These are specific to a... Yes. Oh, yeah. This what one? did we do? That uh, was three. Three? Yeah. Are these numbers for pistons? No. So is it Does one, it three on the passenger side? Oh, is that are we two, four? Side? Are we doing... This is passenger side, right? Oh, okay. So that was yeah. two and four. Okay. Yeah. Good. Because okay. sometimes they mess up. Yeah, me too. Especially going back and forth from <laughs> Ford to Chevy. Oh, because Chevy Ford's opposite. And they're one, two, three, four. And they're one, two, four. three, four. That's right. Yeah. They're not even opposite. Let's see. I gotta get some rings. Put on these pistons now. Oh, you only did two rings. I yep, I you... was hoping to get ahead, but people showed up to show you a cool truck. Yep. Yeah. Cool people. You're going to be a motor builder before you know it. Um, you said you can't teach an old dog new tricks. If the dog's Tyson, you can teach it whatever you want. That's what the dog wants to learn. <laughs> I am mean, you got them put together. Well, I could do it. <laughs> Don't, you'll probably break it. I got you'll this. You'll probably break it. I'm going to do one and then I'm going to go in and prove you wrong. Oh, do I get to install it too if I do it? <laughs> hey, wait. Why is that a problem? Just for dramatic effect. My like Tyson can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Why the heck can't I? <laughs> do you realize? Mm -hmm. But I don't have my glasses, so I might not be able to see this so well. Oh, oh the excuses are started. It. All right. You said the top one first? Yeah. I'm gonna hit Tyson. Hey, you did. 
Chad, did you order extra? <laughs> I did. <laughs> you did. So I'm okay. Shut it. I put it in the wrong spot. I didn't fully see that. I got the right piece in on the right spot. You know, when you got bad eyes, this is some hard stuff to see. I think we Chad complaining about that. Because he doesn't got bad eyes. <laughs> Got bad so got, <laughs> he's got bad hearing. He's got bad hearing. I'm so proud of myself. I'm going to be a piston builder. Yep, get your own piston cup. <laughs> you be what in the cup? <laughs> you oiled that? Yep. Okay, does that look good? I don't feel like it's good right there. Dot to the back. Yep. No, if it's okay, if you go ahead and give her a whack and then just push it, don't hit it real hard. But just kind of give it a whack and then push it down. Just pull it through. There you go. Well, if we were building the four cylinder, she might have one. Shut yep. it! I'm what? working. Hey, this is my very first time. Well, that was my first time too. I just Tyson, still... you started nice. it. Yeah, really Come on. Yeah. It's locked right there. So many versions. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's really hard to see. <laughs> I'm not going to help my competitor. That's upside down. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. Where's the mark? <laughs> it's like right on the end. Yeah. Okay, I had it the right way. <laughs> oh, you did? <laughs> it already pans. He wasn't going to help his competitor. I got it because I don't want to break this. Huh? He said he got extras. <laughs> I haven't shown up yet. They're on the Amazon truck still. What if it moving um, okay? Look, I did it. Yeah, you did. That one, this, the dot goes up, right? Dot goes up. Okay, I'm gonna have a piston done. Nice. Oh, cool. I'm gonna be really proud of myself, Tyson. Well, you should. you should. I really should. How many of your wives are doing this? Oh. How many of your wives are doing this? Now I gotta take this off. Turning over I put that. it in the clamp yeah, without breaking it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Huh. You definitely had it. And then I tighten this. What are you looking for, Chad? The big wrench. The big wrench says you can spin the motor over with it. Oh, I just have oh, it really oh. on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can. Oh. <laughs> Don't clamp it there, though. Wait, what? You said clamp it! <laughs> yeah, that's what we're doing. We're, we're working with the clamp that's right here. Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, and then I put it on. Doesn't matter which doesn't matter which direction. That's got a groove for that piece. Yeah, yeah. it does matter. I understood that. Yeah. And it kind of snaps in. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead it's and done. put that in eight. Now, what do you want to do? No, I mean in seven, <laughs> so we know the hardest one to get to. Actually, okay. let's put it up here in number one. Are you the easiest one to get to. And then we'll know. Oh, do I get a snap? This is cool. Hey, this is the piston then. Yeah. You put a full piston together, slap it in there. I don't know if I'm going to be okay to slap it. Oh, no, nope, dot went backwards. Yep, yeah, so you're going to blow that motor out. <laughs> we didn't see it yet, so we're okay. Yep. Okay, dots forward. Real hard. Is it the right way? Just kind of push, like, hit it and push it in at the same time. There you go. Just like that. Give it one more whack. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Feeling. Here, ready? <laughs> That's kind of a good feeling, you know. No wonder you guys like this stuff. Yeah. Because this was like 12 minutes long. Yeah. Mine pulled up. Like, there is my. Mark them. Yeah. Pretty fun day. Yeah, it was, it was really fun. I had fun even right now. Yeah. I don't I know. I thought I was talking to That was like probably the that. highlight of the day, really. After once, I was like, did we break break it? Yeah, oh, after we yeah. got past yeah. the, yeah. is it broken? Yeah. I'm like, let us take it. I never said he should. <laughs> <laughs> that's he a, mentioned that's it. That's a piss poor idea. <laughs> that's all good. I thought that was a good idea. You guys proved me right. So. 
Well, we got this thing all put together. Well, at least the short block, anyway. Everything's all torqued and marked. Tiny chain's on. Uh, ready for some covers and uh, some cylinder heads. That'll be the next step. So I'll go dig the cylinder heads out of the shed and get those cleaned up and uh, put some valve springs on them and they'll be ready to bolt on. Hopefully, next weekend, we'll be able to get this motor dropped into Gonzo. Okay, that takes care of it for this one. Till next time, remember the world needs more kind people. So don't forget your random acts of kindness. Thanks for watching.